वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचानूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुर ओडेशन टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण दि प्रिसेप्टर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ द फोर्सेज ऑफ डार्कनेस डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ इमोटैलिटी we are in the 16th chapter of the gita known as daivasur sampad sampad vibhag yoga the yoga of distinction between the divine wealth and demoniac wealth wealth relates to qualities and just to reiterate first the divine wealth has been presented to you and there are 26 virtues and they should be remembered they should be uttered even though you don't may not have all those virtues but that's an ideal make a garland and give those names i'm joking but here hmm. abhayam sattva sanshuddhi gyan yoga vivasthiti danam damascha yogyagnyascha swadhyaya tapa arjavam abhayam fearlessness सत्व संशुद्धि प्यूरिटी ऑफ हार्ट ज्ञान योग व्यवस्थिति बींग प्रोफाउंडली डिवोटेड टू ज्ञाना एंड योगा ज्ञाना इज इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट हैविंग थियरटिकल नॉलेज योगा रियलाइजिंग दैट थियरी थियरी एंड प्रैक्टिस दाना चैरिटी dama control of the senses yagya sacrifice sacrifice relates to sublimating grosser vices all the vices in human personality like short circuited energy correct the short circuit then you have sacrificed all the goats and lambs buffaloes they are to be sacrificed you don't take it literally <laughs> that was the real meaning of sacrifice but finding it is a hard to do it internally <laughs> to get all the animals स्वाध्याय स्टडी ऑफ स्क्रिप्चर्स यू आर लाइफ लॉन्ग स्टूडेंट एंड कंटिन्यू टू स्टडी एंड इवन इफ यू हैव स्टडीड द गीता स्टडी इट अगेन जपा कम्स विद इन दॉपिक ऑफ स्वाध्याय जपस्वाध्यायश्वर प्रणिधान तपास्टेरिटी बट दि प्रोफाउंड इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ ऑस्टेरिटी इज मेन्टल फोकस मेन्टल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन तपो ब्रह्मे यू मोर तपा यू डू ग्रेटर इज युअर इन साइट सो दि ओल स्क्रिप्चर टेल्स यू हाउ the disciple comes back having done tapa and says annam brahmet ye vijanat i know matter is brahman and i am not going into that direction tapa refers to that 
const constant focusing of the mind. The mind becomes calmer and one-pointed. Your understanding of the highest truth unfolds step by step. Your life should be always dedicated to tapas. Tapas doesn't mean that you sit around fire, if you sleep in fire. That also has its own role. But Arjavam. It is this great quality that is characteristic of Arjuna. The word Arjuna comes from Arjava. But Arjava is translated as straightforwardness, which means you. Manasa vacha karmana, what you think. Your speech is in harmony with how you, how you are thinking. And your actions are in harmony with your speech. If you think differently, and what you speak is totally different from your thought, and what you do is totally different from your thought and speech, then we are mantara, hunchback lady. Ahimsa, continuing that, next quality, ahimsa, non-violence. And it has many implications, and I have already gone into that. Satyam, truthfulness. Akrod, not to spill your energy by anger. When anger dominates you, then you are a weak person. Anger, fear, grief. But anger has a tamas, more demoniac quality. Tyag. Tyag means renunciation. Tena tyaktena bhunjitha. Ishavasyam idam sarvam. The entire world is permeated by God. Ma kridha kashyatvid dhanam. Do not develop the vulture of vision, gridha. Do not develop gridha drishti. Vulture of vision means looking at things with a constant greed. You see someone wearing a wonderful ornament and your mind says, I should have possessed it. That person doesn't deserve it. I'm joking, but And it has many, many more subtler implications. Try to understand the whole world is expression of God. It is not by greed that you can become prosperous, but by removing greed, try to recognize the treasure God has already given to you the potentiality to attain enlightenment. You don't need to grab others' resources. Also, if you go into deeper level, then it implies even your body, mind, intellect, they are not you. They are not self. But that I, I'm not going to that direction too much at this stage. Shanti, peace, always bring about peace and harmony within yourself, in people around you. Apayashunam, do not engage your, your time in speaking about others, about the defects of others. The mind is always likes to be entertained, and that's gross way of finding entertainment, bringing to your mind some personality, and start talking about that person. 
and become more excited when the person has more negative quality. <laughs> Daya, compassion, alo luptva, non covetousness, mardavam, tender heartedness, free. Developing a sense of shame towards negative actions. Achapalam. Not being fickle minded. Teja. Developing valor. Strength of, of, of faith. Of his spiritual progress. Chama. Forgiveness. Dhriti, firmness in pursuing the righteous path. Shout, purity. Adroha, absence of animosity. And the final virtue is Atimanita, humility. The first one is Abhayam. Abhayam is the general of the army, the captain, general, leading the whole army, fearlessness. And the last one is the protector. An army is secured from front and from behind. Having described the Avi Sampat, you come to Asuri Sampat. I have already taken up and given some thumb points and we will continue from where I left off. Dambho darpo timanascha krodha parushya mevacha agyanam chaviyatasya partha sampadam asurim. Go partha is the name of Arjuna. After his mother Pritha. And mother, the name Pritha relates to Prithvi. Just like the whole earth is your mother, support. With that spirit is Arjuna's mother, Kunti. O Partha, he who is born with a demoniac nature, in him these negative qualities manifest. What are those? Dumb, hypocrisy. Another word we use is Dharma Dvaj. You carry a flag, literally implying Dharma Dvaj. And on the flag is written Dharma. I am the follower of Dharma. But all that is only in your flag. <laughs> An outer show of virtue without really practicing it. Darpa, conceit, based on your power and position. Atiban, expecting undue praise. Krod, anger, resulting from obstruction of karma. When desire is obstructed, instead of taking up your self-effort to correct the error, what, whatever is on, in your way, you become angry. The fire has started burning in your house. Instead of running to cool the fire, you become angry. You fire God? <laughs> I've been worshipping you all the time. <laughs> I'm joking, but you have to understand what it implies. Anger does not resolve any problem. It creates problem. And yet it is there in every individual who has to work for it. Annoyance, anger, agitation. Parushyam. Speaking harsh, 
cutting words, words that go into your heart like a knife. And sometimes those, these words are even harsher than knife. People remember it for my years. And lastly is ignorance. That's where we, I left off. So ignorance aspect has to be understood. Ignorance implying agyan. Being ignorant of your profounder reality. That's not excusable. And that applies even in the practical world. If you go against law and you try to explain yourself, I didn't know the law. <laughs> Ignorance is never a justification. And what is ignorance? Conducting yourself led by avivek. Avivek means not using proper reasoning. And conduct yourself according to your own egoistic emotions. But more deeply, ignorance means Viewing yourself as body. And your body has three levels. Physical body, identity with your physical body, identity with your subtle body. That subtle body identity goes into three areas, three levels. Identity with the prana, the vital force, identity with the mind and identity with your intellect ego. All this comes under subtle body. Beyond all that is identity with the veil of illusion known as avidya. In Vedanta it becomes important for you to study five sheets Three bodies, you have a box with three sections. First section is Annamaya Kosha, food sheath, physical body. The middle section has three subdivisions. Pranamaya, vital. Manomaya, mental. Vijnanamaya, intellect, ego. Another section is still there. Three sections are there in the box. The third section is avidya. It's simply a world of unmanifest that contains all your samskaras, karmas in the most subtle manner. And as long as you are identified with these koshas, you are in a state of ignorance. So these are the characteristics, the basic characteristics of demoniac movement. I've already explained to you, these two movements go to form your personality. Davi movement highlights the higher self. We allow the heavy movement to progress. The higher self begins to dominate your personality. If you let the demoniac qualities prevail, then the lower self has become your reality. And life is a constant battle. Real success you achieve in your life when you allow the divine in you to 
overpower the demonia. Not only overpower, but to sublimate the demonia. The demonia qualities are not realities. They are like shades, shadows of darkness, forces of darkness. When you bring light, they have no reality. Daivi qualities are the reality. You cannot strip yourself of your Daivi potentiality. That's not within your power. Yes, you can go into different lower embodiments, but your soul will continue. Continue to experience bhava vyadhi, the disease of the world process, until the soul comes back to discover its healthy condition. In other words, being entering to human embodiment, and developing aspiration for self-realization. And that aspiration is sustained by developing divine quality. Devi sampadvi mokshaya nibandha yasuri mata mashuchaha sampadam devi abhijato si pandava O Arjuna, the divine qualities are for liberation. Devi Sampat will lead you to absolute freedom, release, liberation, moksha, nirvana. While the demonia qualities lead one to bondage, demonia qualities are going to keep you away from your spiritual treasure. Your spiritual treasure is the realization, I am Brahman. That realization brings to you infinite bliss, known as Bhuma. That bliss never changes. But if lower self dominates in you, then you are craving for alpam. Alpam means little. All the experiences of prosperity and position and power that you gain in the world of time and space is transient. How many Alexanders have come and gone? How many pr proud and conceited rulers have come and gone? Ma shuchaha sampadam devim. Do not grieve. You are born with divine qualities. Now, people generally reading it relates to how Arjuna was so fortunate. He was born with divine qualities. The purpose of the Gita is not to praise Arjuna, <laughs> but to enable everyone to be Arjuna. And it applies to everyone. Divine qualities are your innate potentiality. If the sun has veiled the cloud, you tell the cloud that little light that is coming into you is in reality the sun. The cloud is facing two aspects. It is getting darker and darker. The darker aspect no matter how vivid it is, is not the reality. The light aspect is real. So no matter how you experience in your life, no matter what stage you are in, negative qualities are going to be destroyed. It's a matter of your self-effort. But positive in you, you cannot destroy. 
can put yourself into torture, allow yourself to be in hell, hell fires. But the positive potentiality in you cannot be destroyed. Positive in you is that which is ever exi existent reality. It is sat, truth. Asatoma sadgamaya. All the negative qualities are asat, not real. Therefore, it is a matter of understanding. The moment your intellect, prachodayat, shines with light, negative qualities vanish. And that scriptures described by so many mystical stories. Valmiki was a great robber. The type of robbery and killing he had done. <laughs> Even in thousand lives he couldn't have become free from it. The karmas are real. He wouldn't have been free. But he attained enlightenment. And not only he attained enlightenment, he became this source of the entire Valmiki Ramayana inspired millions to be enlightened. So try to see what the moral behind it. In philosophy we use the term Kritrim or Kritrim. Divine qualities are Kritrim. They are not created, human creation. They are already existent. Anger, hate, etc. You have, they are the products of ignorance. They are not realities. Dvaubhuta sargav lokesmin Daiva asura evacha Daivi vishtarasha prokta Asuram parthameshinu In this world, there are two types of beings. Divine and demoniac, the Sanskrit words Sura and Asura. Those who do, those who are musicians, they are accustomed to the term Sur. Be in Sur, means be in harmony. The melody must be in perfect harmony. But when that harmony is disturbed, it becomes Asur. If your mind, thought, thought, word, action, they all are in harmony. If you are living a life of integral yoga, karma, bhakti, dhyana and jnana, they are blended in your personality. Then the sura aspect advances. It's brought out in another allegorical setting of Goddess Saraswati holding the Veena. Your, your whole personality becomes the Veena in the hands of the Goddess of Enlightenment. So do not lean towards Asura aspect, discordant, no, don't go after froggy music. Go after the music of nightingales, cuckoos. But this ideal has to be kept in your mind and work for it. No matter how, how little may be your progress, you have to also understand you take one step towards God and God takes a hundred steps towards you. The divine qualities have been described by me in detail. Just to, Gita gives you that simple information that all these divine qualities are not presented just in this section of 16th chapter under Daivi Sampat. These qualities have been described 
in the very second chapter, Stita Pragya Lakshanas, the characteristics of one who is enlightened. In another chapter, the qualities of a devotee, Bhakta Lakshanas. In another chapter, Trigunatita Lakshana. What are the characteristics of one who has gone beyond the three gunas? And in the very previous chapter, Jnana Lakshanas. And that's still, there are many chapters where divine qualities are spread out in the teachings. Keeping the mind keenly interested in understanding the difference between divine and demoniac qualities is, is extremely important for an aspirant. Tulsi Rahaji says, Sangraha Tyagna Binu Pahichane. You must recognize these two qualities. Without recognition, you will not know what to collect and what to reject. Parvrittim cha nivrittim cha jana na vidura sura naushau cham na api cha charo na satyam te shubhidyate Men born with demoniac qualities do not know the difference between what is to be done and what is not to be done. Lack of vivek Viveka buddhi, in day by day, situations present themselves to you like a question mark. How do you answer that question? If you are spiritually healthy, you answer the question in a right way. You bring about a right approach. But if you lack that, then the wrong approach. Just like living in your own, own house, in your own bedroom. It is your choice to let the dust collect or let them be out. And it is your day-to-day -day duty. You don't have to sit back on your bed and say, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> they neither have purity or right conduct, nor do they have truthfulness. Asatya bapratishtam te jagada huranishwaram aparaspara sambhutam kimanyat kamahe tukam. They hold that the world is rooted in untruths. It is without support, without God. That's the people who consider themselves very bright in the view of all faiths and belief in God is somehow it is a psychic disability in people. They are not mentally healthy. That's the view of the nihilists. And then what is the purpose of life? Eat, drink and be merry. Mm -hmm. It is created by mutual union, led by karma, passion. Lust being the only cause. So, go on lusting for things. Eat, drink and lust for it. More descript demonia descriptions are waiting for you next time. Om Puna Madaha Puna Midam Puna Puna Mudachyate Puna Sya Puna Madaya Puna Me Vavashishyate 
ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಹರಿಯೋಂ